Watch your kryptonite. Okay. Now, I don't know if they meant... Food-wise, what's my kryptonite? What's my weakness? You know, like, in general... So I'll give you a couple. My kryptonite food-wise. I don't have one. I'm worse than Superman. Pastrami sandwiches with cheddar cheese sauce and pickles. No mustard. Uh, pizza. <laughs> pizza, pizza, pizza. Uh, Doritos used to be. Uh, I don't like the D-bags no more. Uh, I kicked that habit pretty good, which is good. Pastrami, I've always been, even though it's a kryptonite of mine, it's always been like, what, once, maybe once or twice a year I've ever had it. So, I mean, and I, it's still a kryptonite for me. Cause if somebody was, hey, oop. <laughs> if somebody goes, hey, you want a pastrami sandwich? I'd be like, yes, please. So, yeah. It, it, it's like Gabriel Iglesias with chocolate cake, you know. Uh, and some sweets, not a lot. I mean, I can do with or without candy and, and cook, you know, Standard Brothers cookies. Okay, there, there's one, but, uh, now socially, as pertains in the human interaction wise, in general, belly dancers. Belly dancers are a weakness. I don't know, we should call it a soft or hard spot for belly dancers. I mean, I mean, it's one of those things that's like, we could be at a festival or something, walk around, I could be bored as hell, you know, da -da 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 -da, wherever, derpa derpa derpa, you know, going with, you know, going with Allison to, to wherever she's walking through and just kind of chilling. I hear, I can hear the jingle of a jingle belt, or the cast nets, or any other clickers that they've got, or noisemakers that they wear that when they shake their butts and their hips and, uh, and all other curvies of their body I'll be like, oop belly dancers and I'll be gone and she'll look up and be like where'd you go huh. uh, I'm not one for the sticks the skinny minis the, the girls that are size ones on a bad day a zero on the good days you know, I like a little curvage. Can't blame me. Like I said, I'm a big guy myself. But, yeah, that, those are my weaknesses. And, oh, uh, well, there's one question I saw that's on the, you know, on the next page of stuff. That I could get into later. But I'll go ahead and do it now before we stop. Because uh, i got a lot to edit now. Is, who's the sexy goth chick? And I'd imagine they're trying to say... Who's the sexy god chick that's with me in the videos a lot? Uh, that is my other half. Who's driving. Allison. Or Black Rose. And, and she's known in social circles and radio shows. And stuff like that that we used to do. But that's who the sexy god chick is. In the videos. Uh, that's with me. And she's my other half. My girlfriend. My proverbial fiance, better half, nicer looking half, because I'm the ugly man. Although I get, yeah, never mind. Oh, let's see. Coming up on a Santa Nofre. Uh, the beach, we're on the, we're on the coast today. Going down the 5 freeway in California. Southern California. Oh, yeah, yeah, there they are, see? Protrusions from the ground. Make your own assumptions. I don't care. They look like... For for those of you who are Star Wars fans, will understand this reference. Thermal detonators. Just look at the shape. They're round like a ball. They got the ridge on it, like a thermal detonator. I got the little button at the top. See? I think they look like the thermal detonators. That Bush, that Bush or Princess Leia, Grass Bush, uses in Java's palettes. So, 
Call them what you want. Buckles call them the concrete boobs. I call them the thermal detonators. Look at that. Beach. Water. For those of you who have never seen the ocean. Pacific Ocean. There it is. There's a shallow shelf out there. And then the dark bluer parts and the deeper ends. And then here's the state beach where you can go camping. See, there's the wall. There's the flag for it. But right down here along the water's, well, beach edge, you can, you can camp up. There. There's showers, bathrooms, the hiking trail. You know, go down like, oh, great, we can't see. Not high enough up. But there's, okay, there's a little glimpse. But yeah, you can camp down here. I need a sexy god check one. Let's see. What music do you like? Well, I like a lot of the gothic scene music, industrial, you know, classic rock. You know, talking like Beatles, Rolling Stones, and stuff like that. Uh, in the goth scene, there's like, for those of you who know, it, like Hematart, I, you know, I'm Barton Sphere, and. Uh, so, I mean, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and, of course, you know, everybody, everybody loves Manson. Oh, look at that guy. He's dancing and punching and singing. Cool. Yeah, see, you can camp down there. A lot of RVs, but you can, yeah, tent camp as well. But, uh, I don't like gangster rap. Can't stand it. I like some rap, some of the old school rap. You know, and I'm not talking like 50 Cent when he was younger, or, or you know, or that kind of stuff. I, I'm talking like, you know, the age of when like Vanilla Ice was young, <laughs> and Dr. Dre, and Beastie Boys, and, and that kind of stuff. That's all right. But I just can't do the game throughout. Although I do like some Snoop Dogg. Uh, let's see. What's the most you have weighed? Most pounds, most pounds away. I, I don't remember the exact, but I know it was over 600. What is your ideal weight? My ideal weight would be 250 pounds. I'd be, I'd be ecstatically happy to be 200, but I'll take 250 and be perfectly okay with it. Let's see. Number 10. Have you been self-conscious about your size? does or has it hindered your social life or the way you interact with people? When I was younger, yes, because, you know, kids are cruel little evil monsters. You know, they, they want to be the cool kid on campus kind of stuff, but they can still be evil and mean and cruel. And, and so, yeah, when I was younger, yeah, I had bad, you know, issues with it. I still had a lot of friends. Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of great friends. And, you know, but as I got older, I got to the point of the I don't give a crap. You know, DGF, uh, DGF. Uh, I wasn't cocky, but it was a really assured sense of not self-work, but uh, confidence. And so, yeah, it just kind of... Yeah, you know, so it, it just kind of... went away. So, and I had... no issues anymore. I mean, none whatsoever. I can care less what people think. They don't like the way they look. They don't have to be around me. They don't have to look at me. Um, and, and I'll talk to anybody. I don't care who it is. You know, gorgeous, ugly... Homely model I don't care. You have to, you have to go. I don't care. I'll talk to anybody I want to talk to. And if they don't want to talk, fine. That's cool. I kind of push them. But it's their loss, not mine. You know, I don't care. Whatever. I'm not conceited. I'm just very sure of myself and confident in my own self, self worth, and all that kind of stuff. Um, have I considered the 
<laughs> this is why I'm laughing. Have you considered the surgery, the Al Roker uh, solution, or, or even pills or diet pads? Fat diets. Yeah, fat diet, diet pads. Yes, I have. Who big, like me, it was a beast, beast size, not ever try to diet fat for a pill, or some miracle thing, or the noni juice, or drink this juice, drink that juice. Try doing this and that. Who hasn't tried them? And yeah, I, I thought for many, 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 many years uh, about getting the surgery done. So, yeah, no, probably not going to do it at this point. Wow, a lot of weight loss. That's, that's kind of cool. But, you know, no fishing questions and anything like that. If there's any questions I haven't answered in here that you're thinking about, comment below. I'll go through the comments. And, uh, I'll get to answering them for you. You know, maybe I'll answer a couple every video or something like that.